Number three, Jocelyn Laurent. The Minister of Sport and Hockey Canada's new board chair, side by side just hours after the government restored millions of dollars in federal funding. We put extremely clear expectations before Hockey Canada, before we would restore funding to them. But the opposition says those conditions don't cut it. It was way too premature. I think the government has, has fallen well short. Fallen short, MPs and advocates say, by not requiring Hockey Canada to ban the use of non-disclosure agreements that prevent victims from speaking about sexual abuse allegations. The reason that we have been in the dark for so long about practice inside Hockey Canada in relation to misconduct has been to use non-disclosure agreements to cover them up. Ten months ago, the Minister of Sport froze Hockey Canada's federal funding in connection to its handling of sexual assault claims, including its use of a non-disclosure agreement to settle a $3.5 million lawsuit in London, Ontario last year. A young woman alleged she was sexually assaulted in 2018 by eight hockey players, including members of the World Junior Team. Well, why allow Hockey Canada to continue to use uh, non-disclosure agreements? We are looking at ways that we can deal with that question, not only for Hockey Canada, but for all uh, federally funded sport organizations. Uh, non-disclosure uh, agreements should not be used to silence victims uh, of sexual violence. Others say an outright ban of NDAs could mean victims may not get compensation at all. The organization is buying their silence. Let's be clear on that. That's exactly what they're doing. And I've had clients of mine come back to me and say, gee, I really regret signing that NDA. And I want to go public with how badly I was treated and warn other vic potential victims. And I say to them, well, you just got $300,000 for that. Will you give back the $300,000 in return for not ha having the NDA bind you? And everyone has said, oh, no, no, no. I want to keep my money. Now, Ashley, you asked Hockey Canada if it would commit to banning that practice of using non-disclosure agreements. What'd they say? Well, David, Hockey Canada said that it doesn't have a blanket policy that bans non-disclosure agreements and that its thinking on the matter has evolved over the past year. It says that NDAs may be included at the request of the victim. The organization said in several cases, the only thing prohibited is disclosing how much money is received. Hockey Canada has publicly committed to releasing victims from non-disclosure agreements if they wish. And that's what happened in the case of the 2018 alleged sexual assault. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ashley Burke in Ottawa, thank you.